Hi, this is Phil Constantine with Travels with Phil. This is a bunch of videos for him to be precise about Billy the Kid. Yes, boys and girls, he was a real person in New Mexico. First place, his first jailbreak and early home site. Now back to the original video. Travels with Phil continues March 24, 2017. You can see him on the main street. Well, I'm on the main street of Silver City, New Mexico. And the site of this uh, warehouse here for the uh, uh, forestry service is where there once was a jail. And at the age of 15, Billy the Kid was arrested for stealing from a, a Chinese laundry. And uh, he was put in jail here. Now, supposedly, the story goes, he escaped through the chimney and got away. It's also, now that part seemed to be pretty factual. There's also rumors that uh, this was one of his first crimes where he either killed somebody or knifed a, a Chinaman, as they say locally. And uh, nobody can confirm that, but uh, this is a, definitely the spot where he had made his first jail escape at the age of 15. And we'll put you on pause for more. All right, continuing on here. This right here is not Billy the Kid's house. Actually, Ron Howard used it in the movie The Missing. That was with uh, uh, Tommy Lee Jones, and uh, it was made here in New Mexico. Had nothing to do with Billy the Kid, but. It says here, Billy the Kid lived in a small lock house on this location for uh, two years. He lived with his mother, Catherine, who died uh, a few years later, and or actually during that period of time. And uh, the cabin was torn down quite a long time ago, but this is the site of where he allegedly lived as he was a young man. And his mother is buried here in Silver City. Come inside so you can see how could this face actually be the face of a bad guy? Billy the Kent, uh, Kid Defense Fund, actually. I use it to help pay for the repairs on the cabin. Uh, there you go. All right. Travels with Phil in Silver City, March 24th. Back to you. And now over to his mother's grave, also in Silver City. March 24th. Travels with Phil goes to the Memory Lane Cemetery. And this is Catherine Antrim. And she was also Catherine McCarty Antrim. She married again. This is Billy the Kid's mother. Somebody put a picture of Billy the Kid down here. It says, love you, Mom, your son, Billy. And for those of you who are really interested in Billy the Kid, one of the few graves associated with him that seems to be verified as real. All right, from Silver City, New Mexico, back to you. All right, now to a cave that some people swear he used as a hideout with some other folks. Phil continues, I don't know if this is the cave that everyone talks about, but this is definitely a cave. Keep you out of the wind, at least. All right, I'm moving so much. And keep them falling over. There's a cave, then we'll just move up here a little bit. We meaning me and the camera, so that is a plural. You hear a sudden yell and a rock slide. That's me falling down. Alright, supposedly right up there. That tree with no leaves. Right up in there is the wall where they supposedly had their initials. Or where other folks have said the initials are, so. Looks like a cave to me. Travels with Phil in Billy the Kid Country. Back to you. And finally to a spot where people swear that this is his graffiti. March 28th, I think. And I am, I think it's Black Hill. Somewhere out by uh, Radium Springs, Fort Selden. And uh, <laughs> middle of nowhere. In this hill here, I've been traipsing all over this hill for about an hour, trying to look for a spot. And it looks like I found it. Now there's a cave out here that I haven't found yet. That is, uh, some outlaws used to use that cave. And this wall right here, just above that little triangular crack, I'm not gonna touch it. You see that up there? It sort of looks like a bee. Well, that is where a guy by the name of William Bonnie also went by the name of Atrum <laughs> McCarty and 
Billy the Kid once signed his name. Now there's some other initials up here. Now they've been out here for what, 125, 150 years, something like that, so there's not much of an overhang here. I mean, there's a little bit of one, but it's been pretty exposed to the weather. There's a hackberry tree out here, so some of the locals say. Sort of blocks it off a little bit. But uh, that's where they sign their names, and it's worn down. There's uh, some more up here. Some other initials, I write them all down in the description. But uh, supposedly that's a genuine uh, etching, if you'll call it that, signature if you want to call it that, from Billy the Kid, here just north of Las Cruces, in the middle of the hills. Travels with Phil, back to you. All right, thank you very much for watching. And if you'd like to subscribe, just click this button over on the right-hand side, the picture of me standing out there in the wave. Thanks a lot. Come back soon.